Step inside the classroom of an orthodox Haredi Jewish school in London, where the pupil's faith-based education is feared to be at risk of state intrusion. Leave us alone, allow us to be ourselves, to allow us to keep our identity. This is basically a campaign which is to completely eradicate our belief in God. 15-year-old Yossi Hamilton and his peers pore over sacred texts, as their Jewish ancestors did for over 2,000 years. It's part of a curriculum that he says prepares him for his future. But really what I want to do for the rest of my life is, or oh, as, as, as long as possible, um, I, I, want to, I want to sit and ponder the Tal Talmudical texts. But, but, and, but uh, as, long as, as long as I can, after that then I can go and to the workforce and add to the English economy. This special faith-based education, taught in private schools or at home, is profoundly important to his strictly orthodox community. There are 80,000 Haredi Jews in Britain, many of whom are the descendants of Holocaust survivors and are extremely protective of their way of life. But the community, along with some Muslim and Christian groups in Britain, is deeply troubled by a new proposal backed by the British government to register all homeschooled children. Although the proposed new legislation wouldn't directly affect pupils in schools, such as Hamilton's, faith groups see it as the state exercising more control over education and fear it could ultimately lead to new rules on what children are taught, both at home and at school. We go out to um, old age homes and sing for the people. So Rabbi Svi Levovics is one of the head teachers at Hamilton School. And uh, I'm really proud of this, you know. We've been around for thousands of years, as you know, if you read the history. And the only reason that we've survived until now is because of the education. And once that is uprooted or undermined, we will lose our children. So we really feel it's a threat. In Britain, all children from the age of five must be in full-time education. They can be in state school, private schools or home educated. The government says it needs the new legislation as there's no legal obligation to report whether a child is homeschooled. It estimates more than 86,000 children were being taught at home as of early 2023. Conservative lawmaker Flick Drummond is behind the bill in England. She says the legislation has no intention of targeting faith communities. I want every local authority to know exactly where the children in their local, you know, in their area, where they are and how they're being educated. They won't be allowed to say, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. That is not the point of the bill at all. There are children falling through the net at the moment. They're the ones that I'm really concerned about. Once local authorities know a child is being homeschooled, they're able to check, just as in schools, that the quality of the education is suitable. The definition of suitable, and who defines it, is the sticking point. At present, it's defined as including numeracy, literacy, and skills to equip them for life within the wider community. Hamilton's high school in North London was deemed not to have met this mark. For you to list all the names together. The pupil's nine-hour day begins with intense learning of the Talmud, a study of Jewish law, and is followed by core subjects such as maths and English, as well as sports. But lessons amid the modules on sex education and sexual diversity typically talk to their secular peers, which are deemed inappropriate or contrary to biblical teachings by the school. The boys leave at the age of 16 to pursue advanced religious studies before marriage and careers, typically in commerce. An inspection by Ofsted, the government's educational standards office, found that the school's teaching didn't pay enough regard to respecting gender and sexual orientation, saying it limited pupils' preparation for life in modern Britain. Despite government assurances about the intentions of the register, the Haredim, like rabbis Sher Grat and Herschel Gluck, fear interference. And Judaism for us is our identity. It's the very essence of who we are. And therefore to deny the Jewish community the ability to pass over, to transmit, 
Judaism from one generation to the next. Well, that is the very basis of what this legislation is, at, is attempting to achieve, is denying the very air that we breathe from the Jewish community. The children will be required to violate fundamental uh, religious uh, uh, laws and, and values. And um, this would be putting our way of life at risk. This is basically a campaign which is to completely eradicate our belief in God. It's very good that the government are trying to raise the standards of education in, throughout England. But, if, but if, you, if you look at the, I think they should, instead of looking at what they think we should be doing, they should look at the results. The boys that come out, are they, are they good? Are they emotionally healthy? Can they, can they join the workforce? Are they, are they enjoying what they're doing? Etc, etc. And then they should base them, their, their valuation of the school on that, rather than on what they think we should be doing.